potential to be a leader, but it takes experience and training to develop that potential. At the Canadian Forces Officer Candidate School in Chilliwack, all the training focuses on one question. Can you be a leader? You find yourself amongst strangers about your own age, people right out of university or high school. You'll find yourself in perhaps a strange place which will present new and different experiences to those of your former lifestyle. All right, answer to your name. Officer Cadet Orella. Fourth. Person. Fourth. You'll meet new people. Get to know them. They'll be your closest friends for the next 13 weeks. You have an old thing in the army, you should be able to bounce the quarter off this bed when it's made properly. The many books you receive will occupy a great deal of your spare time. You'll get new clothes. You'll get new equipment. You'll receive a weapon and you'll get to know it like a brother. And the beginning seems easy. Your teeth are checked. And you lose more hair than you may have expected. Sit down, please, Mr. We'll have several interviews together. This is the first one. And the reason for it is really twofold. First is to let me get to know you, or start to know you better than I do already. And second, that lets you get to know me also. OK, guys, get up! O 0500 hours will be your normal wake-up call, and your day will start. Perhaps then you'll begin to realize that it just may not be that easy to pass this course. Get in shape to run a lot further than just your morning mile and a half. You'll be inspected constantly to ensure a high standard of dress. Yes, why? Shoulder! Out! You'll also be inspected outdoors in the dress of the day. Not just as an individual, but also as a member of your section and your platoon. In your second week, you'll be introduced to the obstacle course. Learn to cross the obstacle course quickly. Sharpen your reflexes your speed and you'll strain every muscle in your body but you'll also get good at it get up get up do good what's the real story on Hayward's voluntary withdrawal right, Mr. Hayward came to you me. may even decide to quit he feels he's unduly pressured because he's helped support his folks at a good paying construction job before he came into the Canadian Forces. You'll be given instruction in leadership, internal security, map using, regulations, first aid, service knowledge, and military writing. And of course, the FNC-1 rifle. You'll learn to strip it and clean it until you can do it blindfolded, because you'll use it. In order to perform the mountaineering training, 
And to aid you in solving leadership problems, you'll also learn knots and to work with rope. And you'll keep your boots and shoes polished. Your rifle cleaned and oiled. And your kit always ready, neat and tidy. You may find time to write home. But you'll also be busy writing assignments and studying. Some nights will seem long, but you'll be taught to find your way in the woods in the dark by yourself and be confident that you know where you're going. Although there is little time off during the working week of Monday to Friday, candidates should be able to get out of their quarters each evening for an hour or so, depending on how well organized you are. On most weekends, your time is your own. Early in the course, your leadership ability is evaluated. This exercise is an example of a spontaneous situation in which you, the candidate, might find yourself. There's no serious burn. It's just a little small TV. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, congratulations on a job well done. Just think about it for a minute. After each exercise, the candidates and their instructors analyze your approach to the problem. Your second exercise will require more stores and equipment because the problems will become more complex and the distances to travel farther. You will spend five days at a time in the field and will have to live there. Your comfort is your business. Women who take this course are required to complete the same exercises and training as the men. Again, you will be appointed leader, but you'll be better than before. The mountaineering training will not only add another skill, but will also build your confidence. Now, pick up your legs. Pick them up. Push against the rock. You may be apprehensive at first. But once you're at the bottom, you're eager to do it again. You will learn various kinds of rope bridging, and once again a leader will be appointed from among yourselves. And you will test your work. This is when you have to trust the knots and lashings which you and your section have made. Before each day is out, you may have marched five miles or more to set up a new camp. Making camps will become routine to you. You may even get to like the field life. Or it may get you down. Section commander. But even in the field, the pressure will still be on you. Okay, what? 
and let it wash properly, mister. It's soap on your face, sir. You can't even look out to yourself in one rifle. That bridge over there is unstable, and it's very old, and it can only support 100... During this exercise, your planning, approach, and time required to solve the problem are all factors considered in evaluating your leadership ability on these tasks. After five days in the field of surviving on your own cooking, you welcome your first prepared hot meal. Mission, A Company will return to base by vehicle and resume normal training. Gentlemen, orders. You'll become more proficient in preparing the orders you must give your men. And then you must move again. Most of you will be exhausted by the end of the exercise. But the routine of barrack life has to continue. And you'll have to clean and press your uniforms again. Professor Thornton was referred to QR 2, article 108. Back on base, classroom lectures will resume immediately. All right, Mr. Quiet, your progress. Frequent interviews are conducted to summarize your progress. The dressing department has been uh, quite good with the exception of one bad inspection. The drill is uh, satisfactory, and so are your academics. And then, it's back into practical exercises. Good morning, sir. May I please see your ID? Yes. become part of a base defense force. Has been confirmed. Take your patrol and go to this you area lead now. internal That's security right. missions. is now history. For those of you who did well, my congratulations. For those who did so-so, you still have one exercise to pull it off, bring that mark up to an acceptable standard. For those of you who didn't do that well, I can only say that not everyone is cut out to be an officer in the Canadian Forces. Over this eight-week period, you've uh, been seen to give your very best, but unfortunately you've been found lacking in, in many leadership skills. Occasionally, both you and the school may decide that being an officer is not what you want. And my shop, who've reviewed all your files, make a decision on whether or not you should proceed. And we've decided in your case that you'll be cease trained. Those that remain on course have now developed strong bonds of friendship and a camaraderie rarely found in any other profession. Come on, Frank, get it up. Pull me off. Okay, push it that way. Push it that way. Get behind him now. 
This closeness within the platoon is clearly expressed during the company sports day. dinner as part of your training and find the tradition to be enjoyable. Your platoon will compete with other platoons in competitions involving all of the military skills which you've been taught. exercise, which is four days long, puts you in leadership positions in an aid to the civil power operation. You three guys, up into the bush, on the you three guys over there. Exercise, you'll know if you can lead under stress. Somewhat less exciting, but also necessary, is the successful writing of many exams. The final exercise involves escape and evasion. You have 48 hours to find your way 30 to 40 miles to a designated location through enemy territory using your own resources. RCMP, Military personnel and civilians will all be looking for you, the enemy. Now, scatter, get off the road. Let's go. Come on, Ross. Come on. Go, go, come on. Come on. Go, go. Those careless enough to be captured will be taken blindfolded five miles back into enemy territory. You can tell by their smiles that these candidates have successfully reached the safe zone. This course, as short as it is, has brought those of you who remain a long way. Your reward for hard work could be the winning of the sword, which is presented to the top candidate. 107 candidates started this course. 65 succeeded. Can you be a leader? Get off 